1127. The exterior door suspected what the what, where we knew the, the shooter entered, Ramos, was propped open by a teacher. 1128. The suspect vehicle crashes into the ditch. There were two males at a funeral home that when they heard the crash, they went to the crash scene. They saw a man with a gun exit the passenger side with a backpack, and they immediately began running. Ramos began shooting at him. Did not hit him. 911 call at 11.30. If there was a crash, man with a gun. 11.31, the suspect shooting began at the school while patrol vehicles got to the funeral home. Patrol car accelerates in the parking lot, drives by the shooter. He passes, then leaves the camera view. There's multiple shots fired at the school at 11.32. At 11.33, the suspect begins shooting into room 111 or 112. He shot more than 100 rounds based on the audio evidence. At 11.35, three police officers entered the same door as the suspect entered, so a total of seven officers were on the scene. At 11.37, there was more gunfire. Another 16 rounds was fired at 11.37. At 11.51, a police sergeant and USB agents started to arrive. At 12.03, there were as many as 19 officers at that time in that hallway. At 12.15, we know that BORTAC members arrived. At 12.21, the suspect fired again, was believed to be at the door. At 11.50, they breached the door using keys that they're able to get from the janitor because both doors were locked. They killed the suspect, 